Jerry Stanicky has a story tonight of a young guy who was really able to put himself back and back on the right track. Yeah, but it took a while. Do you know the words depression, mm -hmm. desolation? They're tough words for a young man to low, know, let alone uh, understand. Well, when he was 14, he ran away to Atlantic City. He wanted it all, says Mark Gilbert. He remembers seeing the body of a man who was overdosed on heroin thrown from the seventh floor of a building like garbage. It made an impression, but it didn't stop Mark from sliding into addiction. Now he is running for life. Here's Mark Gilbert's story. I'm singing for the loser, where does it be? I'm singing for the blind, who will finally see. For the fighter, fighting for the one that's failed to breathe. I'm singing for the loser, where does it be? I'm singing for the blind, who will finally see. It was like living a lie telling one lie to cover another lie to cover cover another lie you know it, that's exactly what it was like and it was tearing me up it's his drug years singer mark gilbert's talking about the purple haze days not of utopia but paranoia self-destruction i did it because mark gilbert would look in the mirror and didn't like what he saw in the mid-70s mark was struggling for fame he wanted to be a rock and roll star but the spotlight was on drugs frightened mark fell deeper into the trap every deal i did with him i called up and said listen i want out I wanted to make enough money to buy a PA to sing, and, and that was it. Next thing I knew, it was too late. You had a new home. Yeah, I had a new home. 18 months. Terra Hut. Mark avoided drugs in prison. He'd been scared straight, and stayed straight for the next three years. But life got too much, and again, he escaped. I was taking, doing cocaine, um, I, Demerol, Percodans, all that stuff. It doesn't, uh, to me, it really doesn't matter Drugs are drugs. How you take it, what way you take it, it doesn't matter. Drugs, anyway. It was, it was destroying my life. Then a break. He joined Adrenaline, a band moving up. Mark kept using. His brothers in the band stood by, watching helplessly, knowing only Mark could help himself. The more and closer we came to making it, the more afraid I was becoming of being successful and looking in the mirror and realizing Mark Gilbert wasn't ready. Because Mark Gilbert wasn't even close to being a, a successful human being. And that's what scared me. Mark was desperate, full of guilt, out of control. Then, by the grace of God, he realized. Until you really come to the realization that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's when you start doing it for yourself. And when you start doing it for yourself, that's when you, that's when you got the real chance. It's just not that bad. It's a question no one was right. Mark checked himself into a treatment center and now is fighting the greatest battle of his life, and he's winning. So who is Mark Gilbert today? Mark Gilbert now is some, someone who's no longer self-destructive, someone who cares, someone who tries very hard to, to be more than successful in music, but to be a successful human being, I think, is the most important thing. Mark Gilbert, looking ahead with a clear view, but taking it all a day at a time. The value of self-worth. You learn it the hard way, but once you get it, you don't ever use it. And this Saturday, Adrenaline is the opening act for Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band in Norfolk, Virginia. And that's going to be a natural high. Y'all have a pleasant evening. Thanks, Trey. It can be done. Can yeah. it? it can, but boy, it's tough. Yeah. Take it's... it a day at a time as he's doing. When you're at the bottom of the pit trying to climb out, it's like grabbing a snake by the tail when you should have it by the head. Yeah. yeah. But he's surviving, okay. and that's the most important. Sure is. Thanks, Jerry.